All right, good morning. So today we are going to estimate quotients. So we're gonna make sure that when we are dividing, um, we are making sure that's a reasonable answer. So we are estimating decimal quotients. So we're gonna unlock the problem. And in this problem, we're trying to find um, how much the average daily snowfall is. So if it's 32 feet of snow during a five day period, we need to find out how many in one day. So we're trying to find the estimate of an average daily snowfall during a five day period. So we wanna think about compatible numbers. Those are the numbers that you know already. So um, when we're looking at 3.2 divided by five, what do we know about if we're going to round up or round down, we can think that 30 or 3.2 is about 30 tenths. So, we're gonna write 30 is about 30 tenths. But if we're really thinking about 3.2, it is 32 tenths. So 30 tenths is close to 32 tenths and divides easily by five. So we know that 30 tenths, if we're estimating, remember it's not exact, 30 tenths divided by five is six tenths or 0.6. So we're kind of trying to find, compatible numbers means finding what makes sense to us where we can easily divide in our head. So I know that 30 divided by five is six. So if it's 30 tenths, it's gonna be um, 30 tenths divided by five is six or six tenths. So the average daily snowfall is about, remember it's not exact, we're just saying about 0 0.6 feet. So the estimate you can also estimate in other ways. 32 is close to 35 also, because we know that 35 divides easily by five, because we know that 35 divided by five is seven. So we can use this basic fact. So basic facts are ways that are compatible numbers also. So 35 tenths divided by five is seven tenths, whoops, 7 tenths or 0 0.7 written that way. So the average daily snowfall is about 0 0.7 feet. So you can do either way. So that's what's important to remember here. You can do this way where you're using um, or you're finding kind of the tens or you can use basic fact this way. These are different answers, aren't they? But they are close to being about the same. So we're looking at about. We're not looking at exact. We're looking at about. So your answers could be a little different. Whose estimate do you think is closer? So um, 30 is closer to 32 than 35. So it's probably going to be Carly for this answer because 30 is closer to 32. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and go on to the next problem. Okay, so now we're gonna estimate with two digit divisors. When you estimate with quotients, with compatible numbers, the number you use for the dividend can be greater than the dividend or less than the dividend. So that's saying, just like we did before, it could be higher or lower. So here we're gonna estimate. A group of 31 students is going to visit the museum. The total cost is $144. $4.50. How much money will each student need to pay? So you're finding out for how much one person. So to do that, we're going to estimate 144 divided by 15 equals 31. Then we're going to use a whole number greater than the dividend. So we're looking, oops, sorry about that. We're looking at this number and we need to find, oh, sorry, highlighter. We need to find that as a whole number. So 144, that's about 150. And the reason that we're doing 150 instead of something like 140 is because of this 31 right here. I know that 15 divided by three is equal to five. So that's a compatible fact, or that's a, um, a compatible number because that's a basic fact that I know. So I want to try to get this as close to a basic fact as I can. 
So I'm going to turn 144 into 150 divided by 30. That way, when I divide, I know that my answer is going to be about 5. So each student will pay about $5 for a ticket. Not exact. It might be a little more. It might be a little less. But it's about. So this is a compatible number because 15 and 3 go together. Part B. Use a whole number less than the dividend. So we could also go lower. So here we have 144 and it goes down to 120. And the reason that it goes down to 120 and not just like 140 is because 12 divided by 3 is also a basic fact that I know. It equals 4. So I could bring it all the way down to 120 and divide it by 30, and I would get 4. So each student will pay about $4 for a ticket. Now, which estimate do you think will be a better estimate? So here, I want you to tell me which estimate do you think will be a better estimate? So which is better? The one where we round down, uh, is it um, the one where we round using a whole number greater here or a whole number less than? So you want to think which one is closer to 144. So the blank estimate is better. because blank. So you're going to tell me is the $4 or the $5 estimate. Pick one and then tell me the reason why. All right. I want you to go ahead and do the share and show. Use compatible numbers to estimate the quotient. So you're going to be thinking which, figuring out um, which number or what this could be rounded up or down to, divided by 9. So you're going to be thinking about basic facts, and you're going to do the same thing for this one. Remember, there might be more than one answer. All right. I hope this made sense. Thanks, guys.